Hi guys, so we constantly talk about the PGDBA course which is nothing but the Postgraduate Diploma in Business Analytics by IIM Kolkata, uh, ISI Kolkata and IIT Kharagpur. Now one question that constantly comes up is is this exam very difficult to crack? Is it that I need to know some high level mathematics to be able to go ahead and crack this exam? Well, let's kind of uh, simplify this particular question. Let's look at the paper structure first. So it's a 50 question paper you know, for about three hours. Yes, 50 questions, three hours. That's, you know, almost on an average about four minutes per question. How is it further bifurcated? Well, there are close to 25 questions which come from quantitative ability, which is mathematics, and 25 questions which come from other areas. So let's see the breakdown of the 25 questions which come from other areas. There are 15 questions that come from verbal, that is further bifurcated into RC and a little bit of verbal logic, whether it is para jumbles or incorrect or correct usage of certain words, a little bit of grammar here and there, that kind of uh, encapsulates those 15 questions from verbal. 10 questions out of these are generally from RC, not too difficult. If you prep for CAT, you are more than ready. Actually, the level would be somewhere between IFT and CAT. Let's look at the remaining 10 questions out of the 25 that we spoke about. Well, they are basically subdivided into two questions. One question of five questions in LR and one question of five questions in DI. Last year, however, and by last year, I mean PGDBA 2019 actually had two sets in DI, one of two questions and one of three questions. So if I'm looking at it from that perspective, there are going to be two to three sets across LRDI, which encapsulate about 10 questions. These questions, once again, were simple questions. Now, if you ask me for the level of difficulty, I'll say somewhere between SNAP and IFT doesn't even get to the CAT level. And I know IFT, DI sounds uh, very time consuming, but these are not sets which are going to be time consuming. The data is easy to comprehend and understand. Now let's move to the part where the real fun begins. You know, the 25 questions of quant. These 25 questions, uh, I would probably go ahead and further subdivide into two parts. Part one is going to be CAT level questions, which means questions that I can go ahead and solve if I have prepped for CAT. That means on an average, about 80% of these, you know, 12 to 13 questions would just test you on your class 10 knowledge. And the part two is basically your class 11 and 12 mathematics question, which means concentrating a little bit on calculus, you know, determinant matrices, a little bit of vector algebra, a little bit of complex numbers, a little bit of 3D geometry, thought about conics, that's about it. So if I'm looking at it from the, uh, you know, uh, the, the entire plethora of questions that could actually come in, about 12 to 13 questions, which are basically your CAT level questions. So if you prep for CAT, you can easily handle them. And about 10 to 12 questions once again, which is slightly higher math from the topics which I just spoke about. The cutoff in the year 2019 was about 105 marks for a general category student. The marking scheme is plus three minus one, which means if I attempted say 35 questions, all correct, I would have cleared the cutoff. So on an average, if I attempt around 40 questions and get say about 37, 38 right and about two or three wrong, I will easily clear the cutoff. Which means if I'm just looking at clearing the cutoff, I do not need to know higher mathematics. But yes, please keep in mind at the end of the day, the score does matter. So you should aim to score 120 plus, which means a little bit of higher mathematics will help you. So if I talk about higher mathematics now, what are the two areas that you should concentrate on? Well, if you've done determinants, matrices and the calculus, even if you want to leave out integration, do limits, continuity and differentiation, a little bit of application of derivatives and you're golden, you're good to go. So don't worry too much about this exam. And in general, you know, eligibility for this exam is such that most of you all would have actually done mathematics at some level or the other, which would cover all the topics that come in this exam. So don't worry too much. On an average, about 25 to 30 days of preparation post-CAT is going to suffice to crack this exam. All the very best.